Let's sew the bigger makeup bag. Since I released the original version of the sewing pattern, you guys have been asking me to make a bigger version, so I have finally done that. As a reminder, here is the original size of the makeup bag that I released, and now we have this bigger version. For some of you, I am going to be able to update these files and just email them to you, but the easiest way for me to get these files to you if you don't receive the email is to message me through your original Etsy account where you purchased the pattern. That way I can track down your order number and get you the updated files. The sewing instructions for these two bags are exactly the same. One is just bigger than the other. So with all that said, let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing that you need to do is cut out your fabric. If you are a projector sewist, I'm happy to share that there are now projector files available for this sewing pattern. So you are going to cut out two pieces for this project. You are going to cut one on your main fabric and one on your lining. Now, I like to make my lining and my main fashion fabric the same because when you tie the straps at the top, the inside lining is a little bit visible. So that's why my pieces of fabric are exactly the same. The other thing to note is that these pattern pieces are cut on the fold. Okay, so you're only cutting two of these. I've noticed a lot of people are confused on whether they cut two, whether they cut four, you only cut two. So you can see that they're cut on the fold and they're this big shape. So now that we have both of our pattern pieces cut out on the fold, we are going to prepare them for the first seam. And to do that, we need to take each piece and put it right sides together. We're gonna sew up our first side seams on each of these pieces. And for the sake of this tutorial, on all of the seams that are concealed on the inside, I'm just going to use a white contrasting thread so that you can more easily see what's going on. So let's get these on the sewing machine. This sewing pattern uses a 1 8 of an inch seam allowance which is right on the edge of my sewing presser foot. So I'm just going to align the edge of my strap with that and I'm going to stitch a few stitches and then back stitch to secure that stitch. And now I'm just going to sew down the remainder of this seam. Again, now that I'm at the end, I'm going to backstitch. And now I just need to do that all again for the other side. And with that seam complete, you are going to repeat that for the other piece. Now it is time to make some box corners and we are going to work these one piece at a time. I just have what I'm going to refer to as my main fabric here. And keep in mind, we're still working with the wrong side of the fabric. And what you are going to do is we are going to grab each of these layers and pull them apart. And you'll see here that I've now got this side seam sitting in the center of the bag and it's a little messy, but just do your best. And I'm going to measure two inches up from the point, and I'm going to mark this with a clip because I'm using velvet, and so I don't want my pins to ruin the fabric. So there, I've got a line that goes straight across. And that is where I am going to sew on this bag. And that is what is going to create the box corners. And you're going to need to do that for both the main fabric and the lining of the bag. So I would need to flip this over and do that again. 
measuring up two inches from the point that I created. And sewing straight across there. So you're gonna do that for your main fabric as well as your lining piece. Here I am back at my machine. Okay. And I'm gonna sew along that two inch mark. And there you have created one box corner and we're gonna repeat this for the other side. The trick here is to make sure that everything is laying nice and flat. And be sure to repeat that whole process for the other piece of fabric that you've been working with. Now that we have all of our box corners sewn, we can go ahead and trim these corners up to the seam. And since these are going to be hidden on the inside of the bag, you don't necessarily need to finish them. You can if you want, but I'm not going to. So all I'm gonna do is take my scissors here and we're gonna just trim that down. And this is going to help reduce bulk inside the bag. Just be careful that you're not trimming too close to your seam allowance because you don't want to accidentally cut into your thread. Now it is time to put these two together. So we need to put the one side of the bag into the other right sides together. So you'll want to turn your lining to the right side And as always, you can press your seams as you're working. Makes the fabric a little bit easier to handle. So we've got one bag wrong side out and one bag right side out. So now what we're going to do, we are going to put these right sides together. So I'm just going to tuck this one in there. And I kind of use my hands to make everything nice and even. And we are getting ready to sew these together so that we can turn it to the right side and not have any extra seams showing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of my clips here and I'm going to make sure that I'm not sewing the entire bag shut. Otherwise we won't be able to turn it to the right side. So I'm gonna leave two and a half inch opening and now I'm just going to clip the rest of this. You can see we have the entirety of the bag right sides together and I've got my opening marked here. I'm going to sew all along up around these straps and the middle of the bag, down the length of the other strap and around stopping here to leave that opening. When I get to the corner here, I make sure that my needle is dropped into the fabric and I can raise my presser foot and simply rotate the fabric around the needle and then drop my presser foot again. And that just helps make sure that I'm working nicely around this corner. And you can work with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance if you want to, your bag will just be slightly smaller. Really, it just depends on what you're more comfortable with. Mm. 
I like to trim down these corners here around the straps just to make it all a little bit easier to work with when I'm turning the bag right side out. Now that we have this seam sewn all the way around the bag, it's time to turn it to the right side using that two and a half inch opening. So just be careful when you are doing this to not tear the seam that you just sewed. And it's a little funky, but you just need to find your straps and also turn those to the right side. A little bit of a workout. But you can see the side of the bag kind of creates an opening here. You can see once you get it right sides and you can just pull your, okay. And now you can tuck the bag interior lining of the bag, give it a good shake. And there is your bag. Now we need to figure out how to close this two and a half inch opening that we left so that you could turn the bag to the right side. And you can do a top stitch all around the bag. You can do a top stitch simply right along that opening. You can do a ladder stitch um, but personally, I'm just gonna do a top stitching all around everything here as I think it just makes everything look a lot nicer, especially it helps turn the straps into like one more solid piece instead of this kind of thing that separates really easily. So I'm gonna go do that top stitching real quick and I will be right back. Now just trim all your threads, give it a good pressing, and you are done. All right, so here is the original makeup bag size that I made that I have been using ever since I released this pattern. And this new version is big enough that it could fit inside and there is plenty of room to spare. Thank you so much for following along. I hope you love the new size. Be sure to leave me a comment if you have any other DIY requests and I'll see you in the next one.